cut it off, but I want to give a shout out to uh, Big Will, uh, Class of 94, Kara City. I know you are. That's, uh, thanks for becoming a fan, man. Appreciate it. Triple C. <laughs> uh, in case you guys don't probably know who Big Will is, uh, it's Andrew's old classmate from 04, uh, Rick, Rick Ross. That's who Big Will is. Uh, we appreciate the support, man. And, um, thank, I guess uh, thanks for finding what we're saying is real and useful. But anyways, it's not a shout out session. This is Andy Chest, and we have a, a very, very uh, controversial topic. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this as clean as possible and try to manage horse. Manage, hold me up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying my best. The question is, uh, why do heterosexual males uncomfortable with homosexuals' um, choices? <laughs> choices? Yeah. <laughs> no, because, uh, you know, people say that they're either born with a syndrome or some of them or choose to be that way. Which I don't know how it goes, but as far as right now, I just I just I believe that they chose to be that way. Is it's that like it's like a new fashion now. It's like I don't know. It's like um. Well, they did. Like, like, it's like like the new Fubu. It's like, <laughs> it's like everybody just want to be. Well, they did come out of the closet, and that's where fashion usually keep your fashion. That concept. was that, that must be a walk-in closet. Okay, <laughs> everybody come out of the closet. It's be a full walk-in closet, man. It's like. I don't know, but I don't see that. I, I, I used to have a problem with it, you know. But now it's like I got used to it, man. It's like it's it's fine with me. But it's just it, it's just like homosexual guys, man. They always try to look you in your eye. You know, it's like I don't look in your eye. I don't look nobody in the eye. And this is my mama. Well, you know I mean? like, before they even look in the eye, you, you have to have an idea that they are uh, broke on. Broke on. Yeah. <laughs> You, have to keep, you know, broke, broke arm. That's you know, that's a kind of clean way for a broke arm. Some of them are not really feminine, you know, with it. Some of them are still masculine and hiding. That's the, that's the download brothers. Man. Yeah, but there there are the ones that have the, the broke wrist or broke, broke arm. Uh, that's oh. I'm just trying to keep it clean. I'm trying to avoid using those words, you know, like oh god, gay and stuff. We don't want to use that or, or fag or anything. Well, like that. Well, well, one thing I know, one thing I know is about homosexual guys, but it's like uh, they have no. They have a no racist bone in their body. You know that? They like white, black, Spanish. They get along with everybody. I guess it is extra too, man. Everything is funny. Everything. <laughs> everything is grand and everything is funny. Well, you know, not to cut you off. Of well, course, obviously your phone. You know, um, they say that if a homosexual moves into your neighborhood, it raises their property value up. I think eight percent. So that's a, that's really major. Yeah. Yeah, so. They're, they're all, they, they yeah, know, they bring up your area, they, they well maintain the house. Yeah, you know the house gonna be paid the yard, you know, yeah, it's, it's gonna be decked out. And this was and this was when the market was booming at the time, at the, just at the start of it, it was at 8% back in 06. So I'm pretty sure it went up from then, maybe it was around 11.3, but yeah, homosexuals in the neighborhood, that's, that's a plus for your, for your property value. Well, we need more homosexuals in the, uh, in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> that's the case, they need to go out and live in the city. <laughs> Turn that place around, man. That's how you get the grass cut and uh, get the streets clean. <laughs> Remember the show uh, Queer Eye for the, the straight guy? Yeah, yeah. That I, I was feeling the the makeovers they did on um, the houses and stuff, man. They did. Know? Oh, they did some houses. Yeah, they actually went into a home that that was in distress. And they 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 could have saved Scott Park from, uh, <laughs> from going up there. If they didn't went down to Scott Park, they'd have saved Scott Park. <laughs> but hey, I'm telling you, that's a, it's a good idea, man. Homosexuals in the ghetto. So it's a chance. <laughs> that, that, that that sounds like an episode for Bravo TV, right? Yeah, I think so. That's, that's a homos, good one. homos in the hood. Ah, oh, that sounds really <laughs> too harsh. Yeah, right? kind of harsh. <laughs> Let's say homosexuals in the hood. The homosexuals in the hood. That's uh, kind of spin off from Boys in the Hood. It's a big spin. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I mean, we very should fall off the topic. Um, uh, I know I have a pretty, I have a store I like to shop at called Zara, one of my favorite stores, yes. and it's pretty well known for yeah. uh, broke arms. They like to shop there as well too. Um, but when I go there, to, I guess you can call me insecure. It was probably what it is. When I go there, I have to have a female companion with me when I shop because. It, it gives me a peace of mind. For some reason, I started getting paranoid and think that they're all looking at me on, on my ass and so forth. 
on. You've been there before, right? Shorty. Shorty. Yeah, outside. Yeah, Shorty. No, Shorty done took you there before. Oh, yeah. But yeah, with a girl. Yeah, you got to go with a girl. Right. You got to right. go with a girl. Your sister, mama, granny. Even get a girl from outside the mall and just tell her, hey, I need you for a second. Just don't go in there by yourself because you will get hoist. <laughs> 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 They were trying to say, they were trying to pick you up like a fucking eagle talent, the snatcher. So get bring a girl if you gotta borrow. Her. Yeah, it sounds don't like by yourself, man. If you're a heterosexual male, don't go in his arms by yourself. Yeah, it sounds like we we paranoid. Yeah, I guess so. We we I, are we are paranoid. Yeah, um, I'm scared. Yeah, since my father, he actually used to when I was young, he used to always threaten me. You know, you know see. So ever let me find out that you you're homosexual, I'm, I'm gonna kill you. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's really like straightforward, just like that. Anyway. Anyway. I'm gonna put you under the daisies. That's yeah. how you put it. Yeah. yeah grab them. You know? But um, yeah. So actually, I got scared into the fear and the uncomfortableness of being around broke arms. Hey, it worked. Yeah. So that's that's one of my reasons why I, I'm a little <coughs> unease around them. Well, my reason because I like pussy. Pussy is good. <laughs> I I, boop, boop. I I too and uh and Carlito number three. Hey, boop, 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 boop is like breakfast in the morning. Get you up, get you going. Vitamin P. <laughs> Vitamin P. Welcome. Well, you know what? Um, regardless of uh, our taste and our love for women's jewels, uh, for some reason it still doesn't you know fix the fact that when we were around broke arms, we, we always get a little squeamish. You never notice that, man? Yeah, I still I still feel like a little uneasy. Okay, they they just. They're really bold, you know what I mean? They they try to look at you and then it's like they really just don't care. And they're like a little extra feminine. You know what I mean? Everything they do is like just too extra. But it doesn't bother me after a while, man. I get used to it, but I don't, that's not paying no attention. I don't have nothing against them, you know what I mean? Just well, don't try to look me in the eye. But how come it seems like, as how come we seem like we're a little bit more comfortable with uh, oh, homosexual women, women, but with the men? Ah. Uh, so and guess what? And, and guess what? Another thing too. Oh, you know what? I, I got to ask that. Because homosexual women don't want you. Uh, okay. They're not trying to talk They never look at yeah. you at all. They're yeah. looking at the chicks. So that's what it is. When you got somebody in the same sex looking at you, it's going to come to feeling. Oh, man. Um, I think that's what it is, dog. Right? Yeah. Jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it is, dog. Right? But this is the thing too, right? Uh, I'm trying my best to keep this really clean. Women are doing more anal sex now, right? I, I, I'm just, I haven't experienced that yet. I haven't done that with a woman yet. So, what, to me, if a guy feels really comfortable penetrating a woman's rectum, is it rectum? Yes. Yeah, rectum. If a woman, if a guy feels what? comfortable penetrating a rectum, why, why, are they, why, why are they so homophobic when they do doing homophobic acts? Because she's a girl. Yeah. I, uh, That's a huge difference. So I guess ass, ass, well, asshole only, it's only wrong when it's applied to a dude. I guess. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. So, but I'm saying, but if you, as paranoid as we are, that shit just like, <coughs> that shit just like. That's a really uncomfortable sound. <laughs> yes, it is, dog. Yes, it is. Um, it is. Yeah. Uh, that's all the, I know the difference is this is a girl, <laughs> dog. She, I, don't, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know. It's just it's, it's a girl. It's a girl, dog. That's the only difference. And I think that's probably like why I, I've never been able to go that avenue before because oh, I'm, like, okay. I'm like psychologically attached uh, anal sex with with oh, um, okay, okay, with, okay. with um with, with anal sex with homosexuality. So this is the concept of that. I, I don't even like I don't even like girls' hands around that area. I I, I, I jump. Oh no 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 yeah, no 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 <laughs> they don't damn oops. You watch your damn hand, goddammit. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still dying to get off the subject. Yes, I am too. Um, Please. We absolutely have no problems with homosexuals. It's just we're just giving like, our views on why we're right. uncomfortable. Yeah, comfortable yeah. About it. yeah we, we, we learn to live with it and accept it. It's just that we, we still get a little bit uncomfortable when we're around and broke arms. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to change one day. Because uh, it's really out of the open, it's in the media, but it just hasn't changed and I really haven't gotten a hold of grasp of it yet. But yeah, I'm Steve, this is Horace. Uh, if you have any questions, send it to inyourchest at gmail.com, uh, Twitter, in your chest. Uh, we're on Facebook, in your chest. And uh, once again, thanks to Big Will for uh, becoming a fan. Um, you guys also know him as Rick Ross, but I didn't want to throw his celebrity name. But there's just real people, real issues, real answers, and real reality.